Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and I've been thinking a lot about Norska lately. You see, when people think about the areas normally tainted by chaos, they lump them all together. There are many misconceptions where people might think a Norskan is the same as a Hung or a Tong, but we know that they are different cultures. Now the same thing can be said about the country of Norska. There are a lot of different tribes there, and some of them are fairly unique when compared to others. In most cases, when people look towards Norska, they see Warhammer Fantasy Vikings. And to be fair, with the grand majority of the tribes situated in Norska, yes, you could link them up to Warhammer Fantasy Vikings but some of those tribes are fairly unique with their own mutations, their own customs, their own way of life. And today I want to discuss perhaps the most unique tribe within the lands of Norska, that of the famously known Bear Men of Urslo. Many see these warriors as simple regiments of renown, dogs of war where you could hire them to fight on your behalf. And yes, that's true, but there is a whole tribe of them known as the Ursfjordings. Naturally, at first glance, they will look like common marauders, warriors of Norska who will eventually go down into the lands of, say, the Empire to pillage as they please. You will notice some differences, however, like heavy bear iconography, an animal which, as far as we are aware, is not that common within the lands of Norska. There is a reason for that. And also you will notice that its regimental captain, Bjorg Bearstrok, is a werebear, one of the many different types of were creatures in Warhammer Fantasy. The topic of were creatures will be covered in full detail in a future video, but with that out of the way, let's Let's discuss the history of the Bear Men, and there's quite a lot to discuss. In Ursfjord, in the frozen north, the Great Hall of Urslo is to be found. It is built of great timbers hewn from mighty trees. In this hall resides Bjorg, chieftain of the Bear Men of Urslo. That is when he is not raiding or fighting. When Bjorg, son of Bran, cracked the skulls of Ulstau and Grail, twin sons of Huron, chieftain of the tribe of the Wolf, the gods chose to show their considerable favor. As Bjorg threw himself upon his enemies, his back arched and split, his ribs cracked and turned in upon his body. His face was consumed from within by a snarling black muzzle. The gift of the were was upon him, the gift of the gods to the people of Norska. He was bare struck. Bjorg is a werebear of extraordinary power. When he enters battle, he turns into a savage bear of immense size. This is a great and marvelous thing, even amongst the tribes of the north, many whose people spontaneously develop were shapes in battle. Amongst Bjorg's folk, the tribe of the bear, it is common for warriors to sprout claws, snarling teeth, mane-like fur, and bear-shaped muzzles. But alone of all his people, Bjorg carries the full shape of the bear within him. Only he he is bearstruck, the mark of lordship amongst his people. Bjorg was soon acknowledged as the chieftain of his tribe, the Ursfjordings or Bear Men. Like all savages of the Northlands, Bjorg despises the weakness of lesser men. He cares nothing of the so-called civilized lands that lie to the south. When the chaos armies of warlord Archeon marched upon the lands of the Empire, Bjorg gladly joined them. His warriors had grown tired of easy conquests amongst the tribes of the north. At the Battle of the Monoliths, Bjorg led his warriors against the army of Arch Lector Manfield of Null. The soldiers of the Empire were horrified to find themselves confronted by men in half-bear shape, snarling and tearing like savages they were. Amongst them all was the towering shape of Bjorg, casting aside his foes with great swipes of his claws, knocking heads from shoulders and tearing arms from their sockets. After the battle, Bjorg realized the lands of the south offered plenty of opportunity for bloodletting and savagery. His warriors fought their way through the empire, occasionally finding employment, but more often living by pillage and robbery. Eventually, the bear men crossed the mountains and found themselves in the border princes. This was a time of great battles and much plundering, and Bjorg's fame grew rapidly. At night, the bear men would sit around their camp, drinking as only the Northmen can, and singing rousing songs of their great adventures. It was during one such session of drunken revelry that the bear men were ambushed by goblin bandits. Many were shot with black arrows before Bjorg strode forth to snap the goblin chief's neck like a twig. During the battle, Earl the Young was struck by an arrow, which took out his eye and left a scar running across his face. Despite his injuries, Earl head onto the tribe's banner, the Bear of Urslo, an immense bear skin slain by Bran to celebrate the birth of his son, Bjorg. Bjorg rewarded the young 
young warrior with gold and the honored place in battle by his side. So before we jump into the history of the clan itself, we have to talk about the fact that yes, most of them right now are moving through the lands of the border princess, through Talia, through Estalia too, as hired mercenaries. This is something which actually happens where Norsekin tribes will find themselves being hired out. There are people who will hire up the Northmen knowing that they are actually fairly strong. Obviously it doesn't mean that they trust them, but put it this way. If you have one enemy facing against a bunch of Norskins and they both decide to kill each other, well, that solves two problems for you, doesn't it? Naturally, where creatures can be found all throughout the lands of Norska. We've seen, for example, skin wolves. Those are perhaps the most known, but when it comes to werebears, as far as the law shows, the majority of them, if not all of them, can be found within this specific tribe. But there actually might be a few more. You see, the history of the werebear does not start in Norska. In fact, we have a generational line that shows that the bear stricken are common in other areas mostly centered around the lands of Kislev, which may present the fact that this tribe of Norskins as we know them nowadays were originally from the lands of Kislev. It might not be that known to many people, but before the Kislevites, or the people that eventually became the Kislevites, arrived to their now icy tundras, this area was populated by a lot of Northmen. When the Gospodars, Ungols, and others who arrived from the Eastern Steppes claimed this territory as their own, many of the natives who did live within what is now called Kislev were pushed into the lands of Norska, mostly because they would not change their way of life, their culture, and they were not welcome within Kislev anymore. Some may have stayed, however, as we do see some Kislevite former Tsar known as Boris Ursa, and even a former Count of Tal Beckland, having been blessed by the Bear Stricken. While it's never been confirmed, it means that they, in theory, would be able to transform into a bear creature too. Further to that, we have a rather interesting revelation here, that the Bear Stricken themselves descend from the Great Bear. The Great Bear is none other than Urson himself. He is the god of bears and strength, and the patron god of the Kislevites. It is very possible that the tribes that once lived in Kislev before they were pushed out also worshipped Urson before they started turning towards darker powers. So the original Bear Stricken could have just been blessed warriors who had nothing but devout favour in their patron deity. Stuff like this has been heard before, for even the wolf god Ulrich has been known to bless the followers of his word with mutations of sorts to make them more like skin wolves, but also very different. This would mean that Urson's possible first sons still reside, or at least the bloodline resides within Norska, more than likely forgotten about their patron deity. The fact that the Chaos Gods have taken interest in this specific tribe might be because of the bear-stricken blessing, being able to then twist and mutate these blessings even further to create powerful warriors that would eventually serve in the end times itself. Ultimately, we don't know much about this tribe, their history, and what fuels them for the future, but I want to discuss them because, well, it's a unique Norskin tribe. Not everyone in Norska is the same, which unfortunately doesn't get represented much in, for example, gameplay, be it tabletop or video game-wise. Do you get hints about it in the lore through Warhammer Fantasy roleplay, or even a little bit of the army books, but it's never really expanded upon, and I feel like that's a massive shame, because the Warhammer Fantasy world is so diverse and so absolutely massive that unique tribes can pop up anywhere. Hopefully with the return of Warhammer the Old World, we'll start to see more lore expansions coming out and bringing context to areas that we might not know too much about. But until then, what do you guys think about the Bear Men? Do you want to see a fully fleshed out video regarding the were-creatures? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and let's start a bit of a discussion.